This is our campsite last night. Just kind of getting up, getting moving. It's about, about 8 30. Head back to Reykjavik. We're gonna get some work done today. So Bonnie's got her normal work shit and I got some stuff to do too. And then try to go to the gym. Yay, Saturday. S A T U R D A Y. Night. A little time before we head to the gym, getting some food cooked up. So, sweet potatoes are in the oven, cooking up some green beans, and then I've got some ground meat as well. I got some rice. Pretty simple. And because I'm an animal, I'm just gonna cook it all in the same thing. So I have a tendency if I'm gonna cook, like I just, I like cooking, um, but I also like simple foods and stuff like that. And so uh, a little bit less creative cooking, dieting, I'm trying to be smart with my food, but I just kind of like everything in a bowl all mushed together because it goes faster. Goddamn animal. Now do I love meal prepping while I'm on a trip? No, no I don't. I don't like meal prepping ever, but I also don't like being a fat tub of shit. So there's some give and take. Um, the big one for me is there's a lot of meals that are going to be experiences like you're going to barbecue with friends, go out to eat, um, going to a restaurant that you know has like the world's greatest fucking whatever. By the way, when do they ever have those contests? Who gives these awards out? But other meals are going to be fuel and like so this one and what I'm cooking right now is going to be majority fuel and so that we've got this as a good option of like oh shit we're hungry we don't go run and grab a cheeseburger. We come back here, we have some food we can bring with us. Pretty easy way to do it. So just be honest with yourself about what meals are experience and what meals are fuel. Right? That makes sense? Cool. Babe, you're a potato master. Goddamn right I am. You can cook sweet potatoes better than any little blonde lady I've ever dated. Yeah, I've heard that before. It's a fact. You can figure that out. Uh -huh. Come on, show me. How's that stuff? Off? Work? You know, <laughs> these knob system doesn't work for you? <laughs> There's so many pictures. There's so many pictures. I think that's probably good. Yeah, that's good. Do I feel confident? No. Will we burn our friend's house down? Possibly. <laughs> Just got to the gym. I don't have anything on my docket today. Just uh, overall trying to feel better. But luckily, bring us down there. Does this uh, daily program? So I'm just gonna follow whatever she does. Oh, the joys of being lazy. Today's Saturday. Friday was rest day, but we we're still active. Today we're doing a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of everything. Kind of full body pump. If uh, you want to join in with any of this, head over to uh, Bontro Go. Sign up, it's like six bucks a month. Yes, a month. I was gonna say six bucks a day and that already seems good. But six <laughs> bucks a month and you get, you get daily workouts from this little, this little gremlin. Yeah.
Tough sets today, gonna have a swing shot. Just keep my shoulder safe, especially since I'm gonna try to do a heavy log. Like this coming week, and we go Bench done. Now uh, one and a quarter reps for some singles. So like just one whole rep, a quarter rep, and then that's it. Yep. Nice. All right. So there's the bench session. We did. Uh, some heavy singles, and then we dropped down, did some one and a quarters, and then we did some drop sets of four. And the boys are building blocks for the log challenge coming up, which I'll be doing. All right, and we're done. Go back to Hasey's, get some more work done. Probably cut till tomorrow. I guess because hot people in here with the heater on. Sweating at night. Hot people. Hot people. Hot box in this car. For real. That's not wrong. Um, it is 19 outside. <clears throat> We're gonna go find some coffee. Then go back to break it. I need coffee because I need to poop. Noted. We'll get her some poop juice. Auto toast to start today. What'd you have? Or a chocolate croissant. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone now? Okay. Huh. My food just got here. <laughs> I panicked. I'm starving. We also need to go by the store and get some more food today. Kind of prep for the week. At least for a couple days. So I guess we're going to figure out what's going on in the today. Just wander around. Nice, simple Sunday. So many dope old like land cruisers and shit here. Princess. I am fashion. Very Viking. Yeah? Very. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I picked it up and I couldn't put it back together. I'm just gonna walk away slowly now. Just swung through the Harpa building in Reykjavik and uh, really cool on Netflix there's a show called Abstract and they go over the architect who did this and his art really really cool stuff so getting to come through here again is always super super rad it's a really breathtaking building and true life of the childless we're just gonna follow this cat around the rest of the day I think 
about just kind of stretching and then uh, I'm gonna grab some lunch here at Bastard and uh, I think we're gonna go check out some other shops for jackets neither of us need but really really cool 66 North and then uh, maybe Sintamani and um, Zohan and Zohan which makes really nice stuff as well but first gonna get some food Iceland. My boys here do some burgers. Do them right. <laughs> Apparently, also do brunch. I like breakfast all day. Fuel up for this busy day we have. <laughs> you know, shopping for things we don't need. <laughs> what is it, Ringo? Hello! Oh my gosh! A third kitty. Hi. Where's your car, sir? Name and address and phone number. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Good morning. Gym last night, got a few squats done. Back's a little stiff. Do some mobility, have some more coffee, and then uh, head back to the gym. Trying to be a bit more consistent with the movement practice in the mornings as I wake up feeling like a real bag of dicks lately. But it's like I don't feel much better if I don't lift. And if I do lift, I'm a little bit stiff. So may as well just fucking lift. So we're gonna go to the gym, a little bit of muscles, and then we're gonna fuck off to a little cabin rented. So I can work on the book. Found some brotes. I'm gonna eat brotes. And then the streets are kind of icy, but our vehicle has spiky, spiky tires, spiky boy tires. Yeah. Look at this gremlin. Gotta get you one of those. Uh, a gremlin? You want to get you a little Instagram model girl? This is your life. It's me, and I'm bringing lotion for the shoes so I don't have an ashy little body. I like her body ashy. Huh. So loosened up pretty good with the scraping. Uh, I'm gonna play around with some log some upper body accessory movement things while Bonnie's making fast bench presses as you can see with her muscles out. So many muscles. Let, let's see them. Let's get into special. How are isolating muscles? Oh my god. Pretty what pale right now. Pretty pale right now, but you get you, the idea. Do you feel a little pale? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Blending in real well here. Yes.
feels better every time. A couple sets today at 100 kilos. Yeah, deadlifts are just gonna fucking YOLO it when it's go time. Just gonna YOLO deadlifts when it's go time. No reason to risk that. So, go up to 120. Get a few singles here. So this will probably be my last log day before the contest. And we're gonna fuck off out of town for a few days and then come back, so. Between now and then, it's really just gonna be light stuff, trying to get body movement and pretty typical for how I compete and train is you just uh, try to get the body in line, like make sure the technique's a little dialed in, feels right, find an opener, and then get ready to party. Bit better every time so probably one or two more of those at 120 and call it done so far like that a lot get with it as you can see as a fully functioning human she still makes muscles in a traditional way with exercises and not just non-stop corrective things to improve mobility gymnasium we're gonna go and pack our shit and get out to the cabin see you guys there Jesus. Yeah, get a, get a don't, don't shirt. Get a shot. you get a shot of that <laughs> they got you they got me man bathes in it yeah uh, i'll uh, take one of these blue rods guys these yeah, are, yeah this that's my favorite. you guys it's just like tape that's empty one it is oh you got some dead soldiers in there Dead white girls. <laughs> dead white girls. Oh, Back no. in my van. That's not good. That's bad marketing. What are you gonna do with them snacks? Not share with you. You ain't gonna share? Heck no. What? This is my mangoes. Got some rains and some white girls. We got oh, the power yeah. of Iceland now. We are set. Think I don't have enough caffeine to finish a book? <laughs> not enough caffeine to power the earth. Mistaken. Oh man. Better tuck these ice creams back away. Yeah, yeah. Get those to a safe place. Yeah. Because they don't do a cover. They're just... Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. I didn't either until I came down and was like, oh, shit. Yeah. And we'll just... That raspberry chocolate's So this is our little cabin, or cottage. Very small. That's behind us. Big gnarly mountain range. We're in outside of Borgenus, which is right across the water. I'll show you. And then I'll give you a, the 20 cent tour of this sweet cabin. So that is the town of Borgenus. And over there, just across the bridge. So, yeah, let me show you my boat. Here's a bed. So everything in Iceland does this dual comforter system, which is pretty fucking sweet. Big steam heater. Small mirror. Kitchen. Basically everything we need. We've got a cooktop. We can basically try to figure out. Got some snacks. Cooking shit. Microwave. Baby says fridge couch nice casting couch for movie making hey hey <laughs> and then our stuff yeah that's perfect yeah that's all we need yeah so the plan is to come in here and spend the next two days and i'm gonna work on my book i don't know what bonnie's gonna do work 
hang out. That's what she says. Explore. I assume she'll just try to attack me most of the time we're in here. Bother Matt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Just got out of a lovely shower, getting ready to post up and get to work on the book. And I realized my stupid brain betrayed me again. And I left my phone, my computer charger back at Hasey's. So I'm gonna drive the hour back and go get it and return. All right, fuck. I got stuff. Everything we needed. Just under two hour round trip. I get out. Much success. Now, make party. Get to work on book and ideas and things and I don't know, man, whatever fucking weird shit I do. So, good day today. Made muscles. Mm -hmm. Cool cabin. Super cool cabin. Uh, and work on book. Very nice man at the front desk. Very, very nice. What happened to you at the front desk? Explain, uh, explain the Icelandic uh, people to me. So I went to get coffee because I didn't see any coffee grounds or anything, or I didn't even realize I was a coffee maker in here. And I went up to the hotel, like front desk area to buy coffee and the sweet, sweet old Icelandic man <laughs> working what there. What would you guess his age is? 70 something. Okay. 70 something. And uh, he, I told him that I wanted to buy some coffee to go and he was concerned as to why and was super worried that there was no coffee maker in our beautiful cottage. And after he gave me two espressos for free and I said, well, actually I promised, like he was so concerned, like I promised I would call back up here to the front desk to let him know what we had in our cottage. And he insisted on driving me back. About 200 cottage, meters. About 200 meters. And he said he would drive very, very slow so I didn't spill my tiny espressos. And yeah, they're yeah, it's just a tight and get one finger through there, you know, like holding him like this in his little car, sitting next to him, and he doesn't speak English that well. And we're driving, and every little bump he goes over, it's just a million apologies. No, whatever, we make it here after way too long. Like, I could have walked way faster. And uh, we make it back to the cottage, and he comes in, and we don't have coffee grounds. So he apologizes 50 more times, goes to the neighboring cottage, steals their coffee grounds, and brings it back, apologizes 20 to 30 more times, and then leaves. So we have free espresso, we have <laughs> the grounds, and a very nice man. It's, it's the Icelandic way. Wow. Hospitable they are. Yes, to say the least. I was a little concerned. I'm like, well, you're getting in a car with a strange man. I'm like, is this? I'm like, all oh, my espresso. Island. I'm like, this is weird. I'm They've like, had like one murder but Matt in the says last everyone decade. Everyone here is super nice. One murder in the last decade. And now she, I, she got. I didn't get killed. taken. Ah, perfect. So we didn't have to Liam life. Nielsen our way out of this situation. So we can make coffee now. I was gonna get probably two days of book done, and then I would have found you. It's just reasonable. Yeah, priorities. Yes. All right. This is our view for the evening. Mm. Gonna get dark out here. Bit of rain, time for some coffee, and then lock into getting weird. Party. So fuck. <laughs> oh no. So this is my book writing station, <laughs> and uh, I'm about to have more coffee. Really, uh, gonna look at this. It's just a jacket. You don't even need pants with it. I got this grim. I got this. I got this gremlin. So going strong, going strong. The book's really strange to read though, because it's reading thoughts I was deep in in 2016, and they're not wrong. Like they're still on path where I am today, but there's definitely a weirdness of hindsight of getting, like knowing what other hurdles are coming. So, yeah, it's 
a lot. Taking a break. Came outside, as you can see, it's fucking windy. Ah! And uh, just walking around a little bit. Water's way pushed out, so it's kind of cool to walk out here in this little, little area, kind of near where our little houses are. So this little spot's got three of these little cabins, kind of just next to each other, and uh, they're pretty cool and there's two little more up there but I think they're all just about the same I think maybe some have two beds that are split to be honest with you the ones that have the beds together I think they just mush two oh, apart together. beds together yeah yeah it ain't rocket surgery in here what's this one exactly the same yeah it's exactly the same doesn't yeah. have, it's got an extra cot, like it doesn't have a couch, but I well, bet our, our couch, couch can do that. Out, yeah. So, cool little places though. Hot hotel. It's uh, does it? Yeah. Hoffen Spender. Nope. That's, what our location That's not it. Hoffen Speller. Mm. Whew, they got serious windows and doors here though. All right. <sighs> All right, back to it. All right, our time to the cabin has come to a close. Book is, give it like 90%. So basically now it's just like format and then the rest is the bullshit, but all the, everything's in it. We're gonna head back to town and uh, go make muscles on a rainy Icelandic fall day. I've got something. <laughs> oh, please don't bite me. You're so fuzzy. I know. I just had breakfast. God, it knows. They all know. They all know. Oh no, what if they eat my hand, babe? Oh God, I'm causing a fight. <laughs> Oh. What are you oh. doing? Are you kidding me? Mm. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I know I've started a huge, huge problem. <laughs> <laughs> we got zoomies. We got zoomies. There you go. That's it. <clears throat> All right, found some horses. Found some nice little pony boys. Yeah. Little oh, sweet pony boys. Oh, that's a little boy. Look at that mouth open like a dingus. No, it's just open. Yeah, look at that mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Damn teeth. Oh, dingus. Damn teeth. That one's yawned like four times. There you go. <clears throat> you guys are the fuzziest. Ooh, yeah, good night. Huh? Jesus. Oh, oh boy. I just, oh, just coat. You mean a strong rod for you? Success. Oh. We met our squad.
question. Oh, okay. Do you want to shoot Friday? Sure. Rooney? Yes. You're going to have that off your face? Just get me stabbing him in the dick? We're going to get, get this off your head? Yeah, hopefully. Aww. You're not going to get us all sick, huh? No, no, no. Is it meningitis? I think it's like... I think it's AIDS that is just like stuck to one person. It's just sticky it's AIDS. It's sticky AIDS, yeah. That makes sense. It's alright, man. Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah, the doctor says it's alright. Oh, Dot here? Representing America. This is a perfect angle this for you. This is as good as you get. That's the angle. What are you doing? You're welcome. Magnets, man! You can pick them up. You can order them from the store with your shirts. Thor's Power Gym. You'll probably sign a magnet. Think about that. And now your fridge is autographed by Hepthor. Pretty cool to me. So, split squats. Doing these more for mobility than I am strength. Well, Trying to keep hammering stretching like that adductor hip. Doing the best I can. So split squats feel pretty good. <sighs> and then, yeah, it's kind of what today is. Way more restorative. Heart rate's been elevated. Just kind of keep pumping, moving. Been here for about three hours. So, may as well just fuck off when you get the chance. All right, we are done here. We're gonna fuck off, go find some food. And, yeah, something tonight. Yeah. Something. Something. Something good.